Hello, this is Professor Mohammed, and this is the Engineering Mathematics 1. And I'm going to uh, give uh, the classes for the first two weeks, as you know, online. So uh, actually, as you can see, uh, uh, this, uh, this is my name and this is my office in G Engineering Building, number 21. And this is my room. And uh, this is my phone. If you want anything, you can communicate with me through the phone or through the email or through the iCampus platform, this would be the best thing, I guess. Uh, our class, or the Engineering Mathematics 1, uh, it is coded with GEDB004-51, because we have two classes here. The first one is Engineering Mathematics uh, 1 and Engineering Mathematics 2. So I think that you need to uh, be sure that you are uh, choosing uh, the one that is suitable for, uh, for you. Now let's go to the um, an introduction. Today just I'm going to give an introduction and what are the course contents for uh, our class in general. And I'm going to talk about different aspects about what we are going to explain through the 15 weeks of the semester and what are the main outcomes that you are going to learn during the course or during the uh, 15 weeks or during the semester. Let's start with the course objective. As you can see here, we have like different objectives for our course. We have, uh, first of all, if we're going to talk about the course objective, we want to highlight three different things. Let me um, explain it in a different way here. So, uh, in general, we have like three different steps that uh, we are going to go through in our uh, classes in general. The first step is related to the, uh, the physical phenomena itself that we want to address in terms of mathematics. So we can say that here, this is the physical phenomena. Sorry, oops. And then, after understanding this physical phenomena, whatever the type is, if we are going to talk about, for example, the signals that our mobile phones uh, are receiving and transmitting, uh, how the airplanes fly, for example, what, are the, what is the uh, phenomena or the physical phenomena that is controlling the water falling uh, from one higher place to other one lower place. So this is what we call it the physical phenomena that we are going to like um, observe and see. After that, we are going to put this physical phenomena into a mathematical model. Mathematical model. What is the meaning of this? Mathematical models means that we want to change this physical phenomena to some set or to a set of equations. Okay, whether they are algebraic equations or differential equations. So let's have, okay, so we are going to like, this is differential equation, okay, so let me put it like differential equation or maybe algebraic, algebraic equations. All of them, they are considered to be different ways for us to make the mathematical model. And this is actually most of our classes going to be focusing on that how to make the mathematical model using especially the differential equations and how we are going to solve these model or these equations and then we can obtain something that we call it the solution and then solve. So after the mathematical modeling, we are going to solve and after this solution, we are going to interpret, interpret the, uh, the solution or the outcome or the results. So we are going to start again with, this is step one, this is step two, and then this is step three, okay, which is the uh, interpretation. Starting with the physical phenomenon, observing, observing it, trying to understand it, then trying to capture it in a mathematical model that can be solved and we can understand it, whether using differential equation or algebraic equations. And after that, we are going to 
set some rules for the solution or for the solution of this mathematical model and at the end we are going to end up with the interpretation of the solutions to understand what are the meaning of the solution from the physical point of view. Okay, so let's go back and read this in, from in our course objective. So these are the three things that I was talking about in, in general. In our class, in this class, we are going to learn modeling, solving, and interpreting after, after that. So that's the, uh, the main three parts that we're going to learn and, uh, and do in our class. And as I said, most of the important thing or most of our class, we are going to set some rules for solutions. Okay. So in modeling a physical problem, as we said, a physical problem is translated into a mathematical form that may be an algebraic equation, a differential equation, or other mathematical expression. So this is, you know, understanding the physical phenomena and trying to transfer it into a mathematical model that we can model it well or mathematical form that we can model and we can, or at least we have some ways to solve it. After that, we are going to have the, the, then after solving the model, so after we have solved the model by some mathematical method using uh, the algebraic equation or differential equation or anything, then we are going to the next step, which is the, uh, then the result is interpreted to see what is practically, what does it practically mean, okay, and implies what. So this is the main, you know, the main uh, like three categories of our course. Let's go now to our course of contents. What are the contents that we are going to go through uh, during this class? Uh, first, uh, we're going to talk about, uh, in the first week, we're going to talk about the differential equation. First of all, of course, this is an introduction as I think that today we're going to cover this introduction or at least in this video, we're going to cover this introduction and giving you an exposure to what really the class is all about. And then we are going to talk in some parts, different parts in this week also, about the first uh, order differential equation, the first order differential equation. We're going to talk about its terminology and we're going to talk about the separable equations. Maybe I'm going to post different uh, videos regarding, this, uh, regarding these two uh, main aspects, the terminologies and separable differential equations. And after that, we are going to uh, uh, um, learn about the linear equations and the exact equation. There are differences actually between the <clears throat> different, diff uh, differential equations. We need to understand them. And there are different ways, different ways of solution based on the form of the differential equation. So, that's the most important part. This is what I call it the art of understanding the differential equation. There is a certain form is if we could put the differential equation in this specific, in this particular form, then we are going to find the solution easily because the solution already, many mathematicians already have set it well for us and they already put it in a very nice and neat procedures. Just we want to know this differential equation is really as we are expecting or really as we are putting it in, um, in, in the right form. After that, we're going to find the solutions by following some different or some ordered step, steps. Okay, so this is the exact equations um, and the linear equations. By the way, I'm going to post my videos in general and, and YouTube and I'm going to put the link to you or the link, I'm going to post it in our iCampus. So stay tuned for this. You are going to be noticed by, or uh, if you, if you su subscribe to the, uh, the channel, uh, my channel, then you are going to uh, um, uh, get uh, noticed whenever there is any new video that I post and also you are going to find it on the iCampus. Okay, so uh, after that, we're going to talk about homogeneous and Bernoulli equation. I think that I'm going to cover these items as well in our, uh, maybe in the second or third videos. And after that, we're going to talk about, this is the, as we said, homogeneous differential equation and Bernoulli equation. Homogeneous means that the right-hand side is going to be zero in our differential equation. We are going to find different ways for 
the solution here and then we're going to talk about Bernoulli equation. What is the meaning of Bernoulli? It is just a form, as we said, it's a form of the differential equation that would help us to find a solution for. After that, we are going into the linear second order differential equation, as you can see here, and we are going to talk about some different solution for, for it. Uh, the first and the most important and most famous one is the constant coefficient case, and we are going to talk about the non-homogeneous equations, how we can solve it, and then we are going to talk about different ways for the solution of the non-homogeneous equation, where the right-hand side is non-zero. We are going to talk about the variation of parameters, undetermined coefficients and the principle of superposition after that. And then we are going to talk uh, after that about the spring motion and the unforced motion and the forced motion as you can uh, see. This is a very nice application of differential equations. That is really there is there is, a, there is something that you are going to learn here. We are going to put the three, you know, the three different stages that I have explained in the beginning about like observing the, the physical phenomenon and trying to find a mathematical model that really fits it and then we are trying, trying to solve this, uh, this uh, mathematical model and try to interpret the, uh, the results or the outcome. Spring motion is considered to be a perfect analogy and a perfect example for the application of differential equations in general. We're going to talk about the unforced motion whenever that we have a kind of a like uh, single degree of freedom system that is only under its own weight is going back and forth. How we can understand this movement, how we are going to put the motion into mathematical model uh, in case there is no out uh, there is no forced or there is no force outs, out, outside forces and in the case where that uh, there is force is being applied we are going to talk about these two items as you can see here and we are going to talk about one of the most important thing regarding um, that we can see the contribution of mathematics in it which is resonance resonance it's it's a physical phenomenon you are going to find that the natural period of some uh, structures, they are resonating with whatever the vibrations they are being exposed to. And at the end, we're going to find the structure that we are looking to with as um, a very nice and standstill structure. It is uh, being destructed. This is uh, going to be interpreted or going to be captured first by mathematical model. And we are going to solve it and we are going to interpret the results after that to understand the meaning of it. After that, I'm going to talk about Euler's differential equation. Uh, and after that, I'm going to talk about the Laplace transform. It's another shift here. Actually, Laplace transform, we're going to understand it first, and then we are going to apply what we have learned about it uh, and uh, for the solution of differential equation, okay? So it is a way for, again, it is a way that is going to make our complicated equations to be simple equations, uh, like algebraic equations, for example. So we are going to talk about the definition of Laplace transform and the notation that is going to be used, and then solution of the initial value problem, and we're going to talk about the shifting and heap side functions, commonly used in electrical engineering for those who are interested in electrical engineering. The first shifting theorem, we're going to talk about it, and the heave side function and pulses, and the heave side formula. And we're going to talk about convolution and solution of the system. Actually, solution of the systems here, it is differential equations, different differential equations. We're going to use what we have learned in Laplace transform. We're going to use what, what really we have learned about it, in solution of system of differential equations. So it's very nice to apply what we have learned here into this uh, one, which is the uh, solution of differential systems. Solution of, I mean, the differential equation system. And after that, we're going into uh, the next chapter, which is matrices and linear system. We're going to talk about matrices, matrix multiplication form, and we're going to talk about some perspective about it terminology and special matrices, we're going to talk about it. And then we're going to talk about elementary row operation and reduced row uh, uh, echelon form. Actually, these are things related to 
the matrices and matrices are going to be used here in order to help us solving the differential equations we are going to find like different differential equations set of differential equations we need to put them in a certain way so we can deal with that easily so matrices uh, are going to be the, the best way for us to deal with multiple differential equations so elementary row operation we're going to talk about it reduced row echelon form we're going to talk about homogeneous systems, how we are going to solve it using matrices, non-homogeneous systems for differential equations also using matrices, and then we're going to talk about matrix inverses or matrices inverses. Okay, and after that we're going to talk about determinants in general. Determinant is a very nice topic. Definition of the determinant first and the evaluation of the determinant uh, two phases we are going to talk about it determinant formula for the inverse matrix which is a to the minus one or a the, the inverse matrix we're going to talk about Kramer's rule and we are going to talk about something that is very nice also which is eigenvalue and eigenvectors which is considered to be like one of the most commonly and repeated physical phenomena that we can uh, encounter in our daily life and we can interpret it and model it using mathematical forms. So this is the eigenvalues and eigenvector. After that, we're going to talk about Fourier series. We're not going to dig deep into Fourier series, just we're going to have an introduction to it. And we are going to talk about why we use Fourier series and the Fourier series of a function, of any function. And then we are going to end our semester with the final exam. This is a brief introduction to what we are going to do in our class. And this is considered to be um, a detailed contents of our, of our class during this semester. Let's go to the uh, next step, which is most of the people they are concerned with, which is the evaluation. Uh, my evaluation, I think that you are going to like it because I'm putting some uh, heavy weight on attendance and in-class assignments and class interaction and home assignments. So actually for in-class assignment, um, when we are going to regularly at, uh, attend in the class and when we are going to see one another face-to-face -face after, after the two weeks online classes, we are, I'm going to like have an interaction with you by making in-class assignments. I'm going to give you like some, uh, some problems and you're going to solve it and we are going to learn how to solve it uh, even with your uh, mates and colleagues, you are going to make some groups and you can work together. Uh, I think that you're going to enjoy this class system because it really would help you in improving your skills and solving mathematical problems in general, especially the in-class assignments. It's going to be very helpful for you to count and depend on yourself and capabilities in solving the mathematical equations and differential equations in particular. Uh, home assignments, it's very, uh, we're going to, I'm going to give you some home assignments. You can do it at the weekends. And the weight, I think that it's like heavy on, on class and home assignments. And after that, for the final exam, you're going to find 30% of the total um, mark is going to be dedicated for the final exam. And don't worry about it. It's not going to be very, it's not going to be that tough, so don't worry about it. And then uh, these are, as we can say, the evaluation system that I'm going to follow in this class. Okay, what are the main textbook and the other reading books that we can uh, use in this uh, class? Uh, actually, the main textbook is going to be O'Neill. This is uh, the Advanced Engineering Mathematics by O'Neill, 7th edition. You are going to find that this is the main uh, textbook that we are going to use, actually. So even the examples that I'm going to explain during the classes, you are going to find them in, in this textbook. So it's very important for you to, to take a look on it and to keep, with the, to keep it with, uh, with you. Okay. Other books for reading that is important also for you if you like. You can read Advanced Engineering Mathematics, 9th edition or now I think 11th edition by Krizig. It is a very famous one, okay. but it's not our main text. Our main textbook is O'Neill, 7th edition. 
Uh, all the course recordings will be available. Uh, let me go to let you see this uh, these two books. So this, this is the Advanced Engineering Mathematics. Okay, this is the seventh edition, and this is Peter O'Neill. This is the author, and this is the book that we are going to to use. Uh, mainly, this is the textbook. As I said, this is our text book. Okay. Other auxiliary books that would help you. It is 10th, I think, the 11th also is available for you. You can use it. And this is Erwin Krizig, Advanced Engineering Mathematics, but it is not our main textbook, okay? It is not our main textbook, but it is for you for reading. It is going to be helpful for you in general. Okay. Okay, so now let's go to this. And regarding the course <coughs> recordings, it will be available on our iCampus. I'm going to record everything. As I said, I'm going to have my uh, YouTube channel, okay? So you need better to subscribe in my channel. I'm going to post it on the iCampus. And anything that I'm going to upload, you are going to be noticed uh, regarding it. And then you can watch it. Uh, any, um, all the in-class assignments and home assignments, I'm going to share it with you uh, during the video. Okay, and also I'm going to uh, put it or apply it in the AI campus. So don't worry about this. Everything is going to be reachable uh, by you and do not worry about the uh, communication between me and you. Okay, I was thinking about making some YouTube, uh, some sorry, some Kakaoto group so that all the people are going to be gathered in this or at least going to be linked in this Kakaoto group. Uh, I'm not sure how we can do it because the first two classes now it is going to be online. But I think that it is going to be after the two classes, I'm going to uh, find a way to make a group for, uh, for our class students, including me also. Uh, and we can communicate easily on this Kakao Talk group and also in the platform of the iCampus. It's very nice and easy and, uh, and uh, convenient way, actually. You can post whatever that you want and I'm going to uh, respond to you or I'm going to explain it to you if you don't understand something or some particular part in my video or in my explanation. This is the first video. I hope that you like it and I hope that it would work with you well for as a beginning. I hope that it's not bad for, uh, for as a start. Okay, thank you and see you for the next video.